Hey, it's Ben Horsley here, and it's time for another edition of QuickCast from our previous night's board meeting, just to give you a quick summary on some of the things the board discussed, recognized, and took action on. So our board meeting from June 13th, Tuesday, June 13th, um, we started off with our administrative reports at five o'clock with our standard construction updates. Um, all those uh, presentations can always be found on our board report at graniteschools.org. Um, as we moved into the seven o'clock session, we did start off with a tremendous amount of recognitions, including recognizing Representative Karen Peterson as one of our legislative friends of public education. Uh, then we moved on to some team recognitions, recognizing Skyline High as the 5A Girls Championship for their golf team, um, and we recognized those coaches. We did also recognize uh, several dozen academic all-state uh, recipients uh, for spring sports, and we were glad to recognize those students. And then we recognized Aaron Wang, who is a Skyline High student. Uh, who uh, won a prestigious U.S. Presidential Scholarship uh, winner, one of the few uh, winners from the state of Utah. So uh, that was a, uh, he's also a student at Skyline High School. Then uh, we moved on to uh, some MESA recognitions, uh, including the team from Cottonwood High School and also from Churchill Junior High. Then we moved on to some employee recognitions, including recognizing Matt Bauman from receiving the Driver's Education Program Director Award and also Ron Mon for receiving um, the same outstanding, uh, same organization, but the outstanding driver's ed education teacher recipient. That's a state level recognition. We're so pleased to have uh, both of those individuals as part of our organization. We're also sad to lose uh, uh, Chris Shipman, who's our district athletic director, who's moving on to a different position at the High School Activities Association. So we took a moment to recognize him. The big uh, item on last night's agenda was our budget hearing. So uh, per state law, we're required to uh, propose our budget and uh, have the board formally vote and approve it. So Brian Ibsen, our budget director, along with Todd Hopper, our business administrator, uh, did a fairly lengthy and detailed presentation. You can find that again on our website, grindeschools.org, under the board reports, and uh, review all that information um, with respect to uh, what the proposed budget uh, looks like, including a potential tax increase, um, uh, which will uh, be a truth and taxation hearing coming up in the August uh, timeframe. Um, that approval and ratification of the GESPA negotiations um, was also on the consent agenda, as well as some administrative appointments. And that's really critical because that ratified a portion of the board's budget for next year that will allow us to pay all of our educational support professionals a $4 an hour increase, much needed increase uh, for those incredible employees who do such incredible work for us every day in all of our schools. The four administrative appointments last evening, Sarah Wall uh, was an assistant principal at Kearns High School and now become the principal of Westlake STEM Junior High. Allison Gush uh, is an intern at Eisenhower and will now be an assistant at uh, Copper Hills and West Kearns. Annie Orton uh, from Olympus High School is an instructional coach, will now become an assistant principal at Rolling Meadows and South Kearns Elementary. And then we did have one transfer of Becky Dees uh, from uh, West Kearns Elementary uh, to replace Sarah Wall as the assistant at Westlake. We had four policies. One was a first reading on our corrective action, progressive discipline, and orderly termination policy. That has one more reading next month. You can review the, f the full policy on our website under the board report. And then we had three second readings on learning materials, continuity of education for homeless students, and also our dress student guidelines and process for um, how we adopt uh, student dress codes in our schools. So if you have interest in any of those items, again, I encourage you to check out the website. You can always also check out the live streams uh, from YouTube on our website as well. Hopefully this information is helpful for you as you try to learn and understand the work of the board, and I hope you have a great rest of your week.